Hi there, welcome to this Camtasia tutorial. Today I'm going to generate a really simple basic lower third in Camtasia. Looks nice this though. I'm going to start by putting in a background image. And the reason I'm putting in, a background, putting in a background image is because I want to sort of make it look as if there's some kind of video here or something busy enough to um, mimic video being there so that you know what opacity levels and things to set on your lower third. Otherwise it just looks weird if you're just putting a lower third on top of a black background. Anyway, there's our background so that's a good start. Now I'm going to go to annotations at the top and I'm going to put in a black rectangle here. So I'm just going to drag that onto the bottom left hand side, drag it out to something pretty much a bright for a lower third, a bit narrower maybe like that. And then I'm going to drag it off the screen, but position it in the right place. So I'm going to start there. And then I'm going to move my timeline across about halfway and press Shift A. And after I've done that, I'm going to move this across. I'm going to use the keyboard for this. I can use Shift to move it a bit quicker, just to make sure that I'm keeping it exactly in line. And finish it there. So what you have now is an animation of that moving across the screen. If you wanted to, you could increase the opacity as it comes across, but I'm just going to go with the bar coming across for now like that. So that drops the bar into place. And what also I want to happen is a brand colored element to come in just to sort of get as it hits that point there. So I'm going to drag in another rectangle here. I'm going to put it right against that bar make it a narrow rectangle that is going to move to the side ultimately. I'm going to change the color of that to 30C5D5, which is my brand color, my primary color. And what I need to do with that rectangle is move it across to the other side. So I want it to be moved over to the other side when this bar has finished coming in like that. So about there, something like that. So I'll move that shape over there. That can stay there for now. And I want it to start with an opacity of zero. So I need to reduce the opacity down to zero in the top right hand side here. And then I'm going to put an animation in. So Shift A again to drop an animation in. And then I'm going to move this over. And you can do this with the mouse because it's nicely bound by those yellow bars there. And you place it on the left hand side. So that animation has captured that movement, but you also need it to capture an opacity increase from zero to 100. So what you have now as you move across you have this bar kind of hitting it but we don't want really want that to start moving until that bars come across so we need to move things around move things around a bit so make them make that start a bit later i want that to start moving when that bar hits it so you just have to kind of shift things about a bit like that and then that bar hits it Ooh, a little bit late maybe but it's close enough close enough for the purposes of this hit bar hits it starts moving and starts coming in so this is what it looks like Something like that. Nice little simple animation just to bring in a... To be honest, it probably could be a little bit earlier, couldn't it? Because you can't see it to start with, so it doesn't, doesn't quite work. Right. And you can change the length of these as well, so that you've got to make sure, of course, that... See, that one's finished moving. The black bar's finished moving there, but this one's still moving, so it looks a bit weird. So really, you want this to have finished a long... Um, in the same time as that one, so at the same time as that one. So let's just try that again. Yeah, that makes the whole thing look tighter. And what I would do then is add a text element as well, which I'm going to use, and I'm going to use one of the behaviors to animate that, nice and simple. So go to annotations, oops, go to annotations here, go to there, and I'm going to drop in, in fact, I've got it in my favorites. I'm going to drop in my brand font as well, which I use graphic. And uh, you can close this down a little bit now if you want, make that just a bit tighter. So, and where, where, where would it finish? It would probably finish some, somewhere like that, wouldn't it? So what I want to do now is put a behavior on this, and I'm going to use the reveal behavior here. Just going to drop that in place. I'm going to move to the properties of the behavior at the top because I don't want it doing this silly thing during it. So I'm going to set the during to none. And I want an in, and I want to do it with a slightly slower time so i'm going to reduce the time reduce the speed to 83 percent and same on the out as well i'm not really dealing with the out at the moment but i'm going to say um say i want that done 
at about 83% as well. So now this text comes in like that and you can position that to come in as the bar comes in. So you can have it sweep across at say this time. There. It's not quite aligned, is it? It's been, it needs to be a little bit further down. So that's the general idea. That's the lower third. And of course, you can line all this stuff up and then take it out as well. Right, look okay. Right, so the whole thing looks at the moment like this. It comes in, everyone reads it and goes, wow, isn't that nice? And it goes out. And then you can bundle it all together like that select all the components, right click, do group, and there is your lower third that you can edit and use any way you want. Hope you found that useful. I think it looks really clean, really nice. It's dead simple. Oh, the other, th oh, sorry, the one thing I didn't do there was reduce the opacity of the shape. I want to change the black shape and not make it 100%. I want it to be kind of about 80, just to give it a slightly see-through look. Yeah, that's your choice. It actually looks okay in black, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, hope that's useful. I will see you soon.